Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come and run my mouth and talk about some people. You know what I was thinking the other day? <laughs> well, not the other day. When I was, girl, there he go. At the it's girl, it's the metrosexual look for me. Remember when y'all started calling people uh, the men who I guess are straight? Are you assumed that are heterosexual? The ones who kind of, you know, um, take, um, you know, they put time into their appearance. We started calling the we started calling the boys metrosexuals. Remember that? Do they do they do they still do they still call the boys the straight? Oh, do they still call the straight boys who care about their appearance metrosexuals? Do they? I don't know. This is one black guy. I guess he walking his son or daughter. I don't know. That could be his niece or nephew. I don't know, child. I just think it's fine boots. And this is no shade. This, now, this is going to sound ignorant what I'm about to say. Girl, his pants be so tight. <laughs> girl, that's why I be thinking, girl, he wanted the kids. Girl, I be thinking his pants so tight, but girl, that don't mean nothing nowadays because Martell Holt from Love and Hip Hop, girl, Huntsville, his pants looking like leggings. <laughs> okay, so we can't even say in 2023, going on 2024, if you wanted the kids or not. Back in the day, you knew who the kids was. Because our pants would be so tight, all you saw was girl <laughs> was a nutsack and girl a penis print. You knew who the kids was, right? Now you don't even know, cause everybody clothes be tight. I don't know, honey. Girl, I don't know, honey. Anyways, now let's get into this mess. So, British Williams. <sighs> British Williams, girl, you got off, girl, you got off good. I don't know how this stuff work, um, but British British Williams, she got off with a deal. I mean, going to prison, girl, ain't no, that, that's not the life of me. So, shout out to the girls who 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 take a chance, okay? Um, basketball star, I mean, bas basketball wife star, British Williams sentenced to four years in prison for fraud. So British Williams was sentenced to four years in prison for 15 fraud related felonies. In court Tuesday, the basketball wives alum 33 were, were reportedly asked to judge for leniency in her sentencing so that she wouldn't be away from her daughter, Dash. Do y'all be thinking about y'all children when y'all like her girl <laughs> scamming? Or do you just be thinking about a Chanel bag? I knew better and I did wrong anyway, William said. Uh, according to the outlet, the former reality star also said the idea of being separated from her five-year-old was heartbreaking. In addition to her four-year sentence, um, Judge Henry uh, ordered Williams to pay restitution of $565,000. Girl, British Williams was getting paid to portray her celebrity lifestyle on Basketball Wives, when in fact she was a typical froster, said the special agent in charge, Jay Greenberg. Girl, you, that's why, girl, this is what I want us to all come to the conclusion to with a lot of these celebrities. Girl, they ain't got, they, they ain't got, girl, they just like us. Girl, robbing a Peter to pay Paul, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Girl, moving stuff around, right? Okay, girl, let me take $20 over here and put it towards this light bill. Let me take this and put it over here. Girl, let me ask, can I get an extension for this, girl? Right? They write down to a firm and corner like everybody else, girl, trying to get their payments broken up into 12 payments or either six or every, or every two weeks. Girl, don't let them fool you. These celebrities really don't be having no money. We found that out. No tea, no shade. We found that out, especially these reality stars. We found that out when, girl, most of them ran down to OnlyFans when, was it the pandemic or when they had that other writer strike? Because this is like the second, well, I'm not going to say this is the second one. 
This is the second one that I know about that just happened. But remember when all the girls and boys down to love and hip hop, VH1, where they all ran down to OnlyFans? That should let you know right there. Because they didn't have no OnlyFans before. These girls don't be having no money like that. They don't. They really don't. It ain't nothing but smoke and mirror stunts and shows. And girl, listen to this girl. This is a court. That was according to page six. This is according to Yahoo Entertainment. Because I was like, I remember girl talking about this. And I remember them saying that she could face up to a lot of time in prison. This is what she was initially facing. <clears throat> Listen to this. British will be, um, I'm sorry, she faces up to five years in prison for each of the social, social security related charges, 30 years in prison for the bank fraud charges, and 20 years for the fra fra uh, wa uh, wire fraud charges. Now, mind you, she had 15 felonies. So for her to walk away with four, good for her. Because, girl, I thought that when British got out of jail, she was going to be she was gonna be meeting her great, great, great grandkids. Hello? So she got four. I think y'all told me, girl, I don't keep up with stuff like this. I don't need to know. I don't care. <laughs> okay? Because that guy ain't never going to be me. Girl, I think some some of y'all were telling me if it's federal, then you have to do your full time. Is that what y'all were telling me? So I guess you got to do the full four years, right? Girl, did y'all see her home, girl? <laughs> <laughs> was outside of the courthouse. Girl, Miss Thing ran up. Girl. Girl, run up and get done up. Okay? I said, look at her. Girl, why you mad, girl? Mm -mm. Girl, I said, you gonna be in jail next. Go ahead and hit that Go ahead and hit that man if you want to. Or man, woman, whoever, non-binary, whoever was behind the camera. Go ahead and touch me if you want to. You gonna be inmate 572-0076. Anyways, so. Uh, and it ain't worth it, y'all. Is it worth it to y'all? Girl, y'all be trying, y'all, that's it, that, girl, let, let me say something. Get it how you live, honey. But just know, once you get caught, your ass is going to jail. And you know what I don't understand, girl? I say this all the time, girl. I say this all the time. This is the thing that I don't understand. Okay, girl, you scamming, whatever. I don't understand people who scam and then they get on like reality TV shows. I like that. I don't understand people who scam and brag about it on Instagram. I don't understand people who scam and girl have Facebook pages and YouTube pages and girl all types, girl Twitter account. Like I don't understand it because the truth of the matter is, if you want to call it nosy or not. Once we see people living a certain lifestyle, girl, we start counting their money. <laughs> girl, we do. We do. At least I know I do. <laughs> girl, where's she getting this money from? Girl, how's she living at? Girl, that's a nice size house. Girl, what's she? Girl, what's she do? Girl, she was. <laughs> remember, uh, remember when uh, Salt Lake City. Real Housewives of Salt Lake City came out and Jen Shaw. Remember, I came down here and the first thing I asked y'all was, girl, what does Jen do? <laughs> what do Jen do? The one that's married to the one that's married to the black man. What she do? Because baby, Miss Thing be dripped from head to toe in the in, in designer. What she do for work, y'all? Girl, I be wanting to know. Cause I'm trying to figure out why, how you got eight assistants, and what you doing, what you doing, what what are you, what do you, what are you doing in your life where you need eight <laughs> assistants? So the girls be watching. You got Phaedra and Apollo coming down to the uh, you coming down to the um, 
Real Housewives, right? The feds watching them. The feds watching Jen Shaw. You know they was probably watching British, but I think they was already looking at uh, Jen Shaw before she even got down to the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I just don't understand it. If you're going to do what you're going to do, girl, do what you're going to do, but girl, why do, why do dirt and then, girl, boast and brag about it? Girl, you should be living a low, 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 low profile, profile life. Girl, you should be living your best life flying from, girl, Italy to wherever. Girl, houses all around the world. And, girl, don't nobody know what you got going on but the people who know. <laughs> okay? I don't get it. I would never understand. I would never understand why y'all do shit like that. You stealing. You know you stealing. You know you stealing. And you have a and the and you, and you still go to a reality TV show. You still have an Instagram page showing everybody your private. I'm not talking about British. I'm just talking about people who scamming. You still have an Instagram page showing everybody your your closet full of designer, girl from head to toe. You still got a got an Instagram page showing everybody your 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 fleet of cars. Everybody else down a Ross, <laughs> bitch. Everybody else down a Ross dress for less and TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Forever Twenty One and girl at, at the sale rack at Nordstrom, girl. They might buy it. You know, we will we'll still buy us a little pair of designer shoes every now and again, right? Right? We might buy us a bag every now and again, right? You might you might got your one you know you might got your one cute Chanel bag, right? You might got your one wide sale bag. You know, the girls got a couple of pieces. But we also know our money <laughs> girls stop at a certain point. So we carry our asses down to TJ Maxx and find us a cute outfit. So everybody else at Ross Dress for Less, and girl, you stay, you stay at sex. And we're trying to figure it out. Girl, how'd she stay at sex? What's she do? <laughs> what she do for work? What y'all say she work? Oh. Shout out to the girls who be scamming. Shout out to the smart scammers. <laughs> shout out to the smart scammers. Okay, shout out to y'all. <laughs> okay. The dumb ones, girl. Girl, y'all some fools. Now I'm British all down to the all down to the basketball wives. Now she wanna get that, that now she wanna go to court talking about I'm gonna miss my daughter. <laughs> well girl. And it's sad to say, cause honey girl, what's her baby daddy name? Your daughter about to have a new stepmama, honey. Shout out to uh, shout out to Miss British, shout out to British honey. What else is going on? Let's see. <laughs> Baby, oh girl, listen to this girl. This is funny. Uh, Britney Spears describes how she felt. Uh, Justin, uh, how she. Girl, I can't even see the uh, word. Hold up. Oh, Britney Spears describes how she felt Justin Timberlake tried too hard when he met Genuine back in the day, reportedly put on a black scent. Oh, yeah, for shiz, for shiz. What's up, homie? Girl, listen to this, girl. This is so funny. For oh, she is, for oh, she is, my nizzle, girl. For oh, she's on my nizzle, girl. I believe it, girl. I believe it, I believe it, I believe it, girl. I believe it, girl. We had just, we already had Justin Timberlake walking around here with cornrows, okay. So I can believe it, I can believe it. Brittany out here going to, Brittany about to tell, Brittany about to embarrass all y'all. Is. <laughs> I'll be right here, girl. Let me go get her book. Has that, has that book come out yet? I'm going to look at my Kindle. Y'all know I got a Kindle, girl. Shout out to the girls who told me to go get a Kindle. That was my that was my birthday present to myself. They're really not that expensive. They're like $100. You can get them for like, I think they can go, well, I think they can go up. Um, but they start at like at 100 I believe. Yeah. 
So shout out to shout out to all y'all who convinced me to go get a um a Kindle. Bro, I actually love it. But it's so it really is. Like I, I get it. Like girl, you wanna hold a book. You know what I'm saying? I just think, girl, what you should do, if you have the money, just buy the book and then also just like but read it on your Kindle. You know what I'm saying? So you can have the like I bought Will Smith. I I bought Will Smith's book, but I'm reading it on my Kindle. Cause I, it's just so much. It really is. It really is easier to just read whatever you're gonna read on your Kindle. And I got Will Smith book from Amazon for like twelve dollars. It was like eleven dollars and some change. So that's my that's my thing. Whenever I decide to read a book, um, depending on the book, of course. Okay, who is this? Okay, he, they running. Well, he running. That's a black guy. When I tell you, baby, the girl, this one I be talking about, girl. Here I go. I'm sitting in the car being messy. Girl, drinking a frappuccino, girl, watching all the girls get their fitness on. And I need, I need to be right out here with them. Girl, just running at least one lap around, a, at least one lap around the corner. Damn. Can't even do that. I'm gonna get. I'm. Gonna, I'm. Gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go for a walk tonight. One of the best things is to walk downtown at night. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. It really is, especially when it's, you know it's you know it's starting to cool, get cool outside. But sometimes it's like seventy degrees outside. Oh, but just walk outside at night when it's seventy degrees. It's the best thing, girl. That's the thing. I be wanting to like just, girl, the hills are alive, the sound of music. Oh, that's how I be feeling when I go outside and it be feeling good. I be like, oh, yes. Anyways. Yeah, but Britney Spears. Well, the girls can't drive. Yeah, but the girls can't drive. Y'all can't drive. No tea, no shade. Women, y'all really can't drive. Shout out to all the women. No tea, no shade. But y'all can't drive. Y'all be doing too much. <laughs> y'all do. Girl, y'all be eating. Girl, y'all be eating chicken nuggets. Girl, putting on eyeshadow. Putting on eyeliner. Girl, texting on the phone. Trying to change the radio station. Listening to YouTube. Girl, I feel like I'm a pretty good driver. And plus, I don't do a whole bunch of all the extra stuff y'all be doing, girl. I like to drive, stay in one lane, and get where I'm going. You got to be driving real slow in front of me or doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff for me to just, you know, or I either have to really, or, or either I have to be in a hurry. But for the most part, girl, I feel like I'm a decent driver. I feel like I am. But some of y'all who are some of the worst drivers in America think y'all good drivers. Anyway, shout out to Britney Spears. Shout out to Justin Timberlake. She about to tell everybody business and she about to have everybody embarrassed. And I'm gonna sit here and read it. But make sure y'all get the book. Oh yeah, that's all I was saying. Get the books. Um I still gotta go get Jada's book. Cause I didn't go to the um uh, I didn't go to the uh thingy the other day. And they said they hold your books for two weeks. So I'm gonna go up there and see if they said on my book. But I'm just gonna read it on my Kindle though. But I want the actual book. Girl, DJ Envy's lawyer says he is one of Caesar's, Caesar Pina's Ponzi scam victims. Obviously, Envy is going uh, to be assisting co and cooperating fully. Girl, so they say they say they they say DJ, DJ Envy is a victim also. Listen, let me tell you something. I don't know what's going on, but I will say this: in all fairness, either, either, either. Okay, this is what I think. Either DJ Envy really ain't did nothing wrong, and I guess he is a victim per se, girl, or either they still looking. Because if the FBI already got Caesar, they would have got DJ Envy too, unless they're still looking. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's why you gotta be real careful. 
about who you go into business with. Honey. That's why you got to be careful, honey. You look up one day, honey, girl, the people be knocking on your door. Talking about you under arrest. Girl, for what? Girl, for what? What you talking about, girl? Girl, I was in here trying to make me a sandwich and some cookies. Girl, what? Arrested? Girl, who is this? Y'all think he has something to do with it? I don't know, like I said, girl. If if he has something to do with it, DJ Envy, DJ Envy would not let me tell you something. I believe if DJ Envy has something to do with it, DJ Envy would not be uh still walking around here. His ass will be girl locked up too. And the FBI do not play. And from what they tell me, girl, from what they tell me, from what y'all tell me, girl, when the FBI come a knocking, they already got everything they they got everything they need to know. That you did what you did, what they saying you, what they claim you. They are, they already got everything that they have. They already have everything that they need to prove that you did what they say you did. So maybe DJ Envy really is innocent, and maybe he really didn't know anything, or maybe the people are still looking. I know they looking though, because there's no way that you're connected to Caesar Pena like Pena the way that you are, and girl, they ain't looking into you. I'm sure they're looking into him. I'm sure they're looking into Gia. Girl, if DJ even has something to do with that girl one time, I'm going to gag. I don't know why I'm going to gag, but I'm going to gag. I'm sure, I'm sure they're probably looking at I'm sure they're probably looking into anybody who is, who's even connected to DJ Envy. I can see them even... Looking into Charlemagne just to be on us, just to be like, girl, look, 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 look and see, look and see if his signature on anything. <laughs> you got to be real careful about who you, uh, oh, girl. Mm -hmm. Shout out to DJ Envy, girl. Y'all think he knew? This is what Meg Megan kind of said, you know, uh, Tory Lane's best friend. You know, he can't stand her. I just got off the phone with DJ Envy's lawyer, Massimo D'Angelo, who says Envy is one of Caesar Pena's Ponzi scheme victims. Um, obviously, D, uh, Envy is going to be assisting and cooperating fully to get not only his money back, but money back for the other victims. D'Angelo says Envy invested 500000 with Pena, um, but didn't get any money back. Now, girl, that's where you start to lose me. Let me tell you something. It's one thing for you to go buy a couple of pizzas and some water and some snacks and go around the corner and feed the homeless, okay? That's one thing. It's a whole other situation when you start talking about, girl, you invested $500,000 and, girl, you ain't got none of it. <laughs> you didn't. Was you waiting for the money? You did. Are you saying you just uh, don't? You just saying you donated five hundred thousand dollars? I need to know what's going on, Envy. The people got questions. Then the people is me. Hello. <laughs> he said out. Um, he. I'm sorry. He said he paid out substantial sums, uh, similar to some of the other investors who thought they were getting money back. So I guess they never got the money back. Basically, he invested the money. He invested the money, but. I guess because it was a scheme, he never got the money back. So that's basically what they're saying, right? Well, that's what Envy's lawyer is saying. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't. How 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 long how long did y'all know each other, Envy? And girl, when and when and when and when did you realize you were not getting your money back? Five hundred. If I let me tell you something, if I give you five hundred thousand, DJ Envy is not no billionaire. DJ Envy is a multimillionaire. I think he's doing okay, but I, I still think that five hundred thousand dollars to DJ Envy is still a lot of money. Like five hundred thousand dollars to probably like you know Elon Musk, here probably wouldn't be a lot. Or uh, you know what I'm saying? Five hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money, and I don't see they. I don't see DJ Envy. Just kind of just letting five hundred thousand dollars just fall to the wayside, especially with all them got them children he got over there. Cause DJ Envy got about seventeen children. <laughs> oh wait. 
So I want to know what happened when you started realizing you wasn't getting your money back. Envy? What happened? Because at that point, girl, 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 girl let me tell you, cause, girl, we whooping ass out in the real world over $50. Okay? You'll get your ass whooped if you let somebody borrow $20 and you ain't got your $20 back on payday. Girl, I let you borrow $20 too so easy, girl. Where are my $20 at? So we whooping ass over $20 in real life. $500,000? Bitch, they'll find your ass upside down in the tree. Girl, they will find your ass floating in the motherfucking girl, Mississippi River fucking with me. Okay? Girl, five hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money. To, to girl, that's a lot of money. So I want to know. I want to know when DJ Envy found out, girl, what what the money, girl, what's the what's the girl, what the money reside? Girl, where the money reside? Where's my money at, girl? I don't know. Mm. 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 All right, y'all. I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good night. Bye, y'all.